guitar players. I'm Sam Lyons, and if you're looking to learn how to play the guitar and be able to play your favorite songs in just a matter of days or weeks and not have to go through uh, a tremendous amount of lessons uh, for months at a time, subscribe to my channel. Let's, get, let's go learn how to play the guitar. I'm responding to several requests from some of my students who are uh, guitar are brand new and they're struggling to play, uh, make the card sound clear, Str struggling to make them sound uh, clear and smooth. And I'm going to go over showing you how to how to uh, over overcome that sort of thing and be able to play cards. Uh, the the card that uh, most of them are referring to is C chord, which is one of the first chords you'll want to learn on the guitar, the open C chord. And uh, I'm going to show you some tips on how to how to make that card sound good and sound clear where you won't have a lot of dead notes when you go to play it. Uh, they, say, they seem to have problems uh, and everyone has the same problems. Uh, you're, uh, you're not unique if you're having this problem not being able to make the C card sound clear. You're not alone. Uh, most everyone starts on the guitar including me way back many years ago. Uh, I remember how hard it is. So I'm going to try to share some tips with you it's going to make it a little bit easier. Now, the C card, we're going to be talking about three frets. Frets a little better bars, in case you don't know. And we're going to be working the first, second, and third fret. Okay? We've got four fingers. We're going to use, start with the index finger. And we're going to put it on the second string, which is the second smallest string down, down away from me at the bottom. And when you, when you go to play your strings, press your strings, the first tip I want to give you is... First, you have to have your fingernails trimmed. They need to be uh, even, pretty much even with the tip of your finger. Because if your fingernails are long and sticking past the tip of your finger, when you go to press the card, the strings down, your fingernails are going to keep your finger from being able to put, put the strings uh, firmly down to the fretboard. So, tip number one, cut your fingernails on the carding hand, okay? Tip number two, now let's go through the first... Uh, First fret, second string with the first finger. Now, what you'll want to do when you're playing any of these, any card, is to get right next to the fret. In this case, the first fret. You see, my finger is right next to it, not on top of it, not way back, back here, because the further you go back, uh, the harder you're going to have to press to make it sound clear. Uh, so you want to be right next to it, and you want to press with the very tip of your finger, the very tip of your finger. Not, not the soft padded part, but the very tip. So you want to press straight down. Then you're going to add the second finger to the four string second fret. And again, right next to the second fret. Right next to it. Then you're going to add your third finger to the fifth string third fret. And again, as close as you can get it. Now this is going to be a pretty good stretch for those uh, that are new. And uh, in, in the beginning it's going to feel like a big stretch. But that's what you want to do, is to try to get your fingers right next to the, each fret, in this case, first, second, and third fret, and you want to press straight down. And it, a lot of times when you're having trouble making the, sort, the cards sound clear, the, the fingers want to, will be laying maybe at an angle. And when that happens, you're touching the strings next to uh, the one you're trying to play. So in order to help you with that, you, want, you see my elbows out here. If you bring your elbow in closer to your body, watch my fingers with it do. You see them raise up and get more vertical, up and down. And that's when the, the pressure can go straight down the string and also relieve you from touching strings next to the ones you press it. So keep the elbow close to your body. Let it rela stay relaxed. Uh, try to keep your other, upper body relaxed, your shoulders. And uh, again, your, your elbow right next to your body. And that's the C card, okay? And you, what you want, you want even pressure on all three strings. And we call this the open C card. Now when you strum the C, you'll try, want to try to strum the first five strings, one through five. You'll try not to strum the top string, okay? Try not, but it's okay if you do, not a big deal. We'll talk about that later uh, when we talk about strumming, okay? But you want to take your pick, you want to just strum down all the strings, okay? And you want it to sound clear. 
Now, if you get, you know, you, you get those sounds like that, thumping, thuds. There's, there's several things may be happening. Again, your fingers may be laying down a little bit, touching the string next to it. Uh, in, in that case, be sure to let your, your fingers come around and try to go vertical as much as possible, up and down, okay? And that will clear it up a lot of times. Sometimes you need to adjust the the fingers just a little bit, maybe move them up just a little bit, uh, or make sure they're close to the frets like they should be. So it, it's going to vary due to the size of the uh, guitar neck you have on your guitar, and also your feet, your hand size, your fingers, finger length. Okay, but that's the C. Okay. Now there is a simple way to play the C, and I'm going to show it to you, and you can start with it like that, and then add the third finger. But the simple way is you put your first finger, like we had it, on second string, first fret, your second finger on the fourth string, second fret. You leave the third finger off. You don't use a fifth string on third fret. List. So, C. And you want to hit the bottom four strings on that one. So you can start with that one. It sounds pretty good. But you can start learning that way and get those two notes sounding good for the C card. And come back and add the uh, third finger on the fifth string, second fret to make the full C. But you can you can tell it's not much difference between the two. So to start with, you can use the, the easy C, the simple C. Okay. And what I would do, uh, I recommend 10 minutes a day practice. Do not over practice. And I know that sounds contradictory to uh, learning uh, how to play, but. Ten minutes a day gives you enough time to sit and go over what you want to do. In other words, you have a plan, you know what you're going to practice. In this case, it's the C chord. Okay, sit down and just go over it, strumming it, trying to get it clear. Once you get it clear, you're there. Ten minutes a day. And that's going to that's gonna hold true uh, for a good long while as you're learning. Ten minutes per day. Keep it simple, like I always say. Uh, it, you don't have to learn hundreds of cards and scales, modes, uh, any of that sort of thing. Bar cards. If you're wanting to learn to play guitar and be able to play your favorite songs for yourself, for your own enjoyment, your family, your friends, in a little group, get your little group together, your church group, whatever. The best way to do it is to keep it simple, and I'll show you how, how to play the cards you need to be able to play hundreds, even thousands of songs. Believe it or not, you can play thousands of songs with just four cards. And uh, I, I'm, I show you that here on my YouTube channel. If you just uh, do a search here for four cards or magic four cards, I'll show you four magic cards you can get to play in a matter of just a few days and use those cards and be able to play, like I say, thousands of songs with the use of a capo. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. So that's the C, okay? Just sit down and practice. Use down strokes. Like this. And you want to sound clear until you get it just, just right. Now sometimes your, uh, your guitar, your strings may be high. And what I mean by high is a high away from the fretboard where you press it down to. Uh, that makes it extremely hard. Another tip I'm going to give you, if you're having that problem, uh, there's several things you can do. You can take your guitar to a, a good quality repair van. You can find one uh, mo most of the time at your local music store, or you can look in Yellow Pages or look online, somebody in your area that's highly recommended, and take it to them, and they can do a setup which they would adjust your neck, adjust your bridge or your saddle, the white piece down here, okay, and get your strings as close as possible without buzzing. And I'm not sure exactly what that runs anymore, but I'm thinking about probably $75 to $100. And a lot of people don't have that kind of money to spend and don't want to spend that kind of money when first starting out. So my second recommendation, the, the more logical one for, for most everyone, is to get you what I call a silk and steel string. <clears throat> what I mean by that, these strings I have on my guitar are steel strings Okay, with a solid metal core running right through the middle, and they wrap the string around that core. Silk and steel is a silk inner core. It's made of silk, 
and then the, the steel strings are wrapped around that. And that makes those strings, uh, excuse me, <coughs> much easier to play. <coughs> and uh, when, you, when, you, when you go to press them down, uh, they're so much easier to play. So those are silk and steel, silk and steel strings. And I recommend getting the Martin, uh, M-A-R-T-I-N, I'm sure you're familiar with Martin name. They make great guitars uh, and great strings. So Martin, Silk and Steel. And again, you can get that at your local music store, order online, I think, Amazon. Has them at good prices. But anyway, change your string, get you a Silk and Steel string. Okay, so that that's another tip. The third thing I want to show you is get you a guitar capo. And regardless uh, of whether you change your strings or not, get you a guitar capo. This is a Kaiser capo, made by Kaiser, K-Y-S-E-R. Again, you can get them locally at a music store or order them online. Amazon has them online. This is a Kaiser acoustic guitar capo. Some people say capo, but it's a capo. What it's really used for, the, the, the intended use of a, of a capo, is that when you play with someone who's singing, a vocalist, and they're they're wanting to sing in a different key that you're not familiar with, or you don't know the you're not able to play the cards in that key. This will allow you to put it on here, and just by placing the capo in the right fret, which we'll talk about in another lesson, you'll be able to play the same chords you're used to. G in this case, or C. Okay. And yes, it raises the key. That's what you're trying to do. It raises the sound, and then you play your normal chords you know g or c or whatever the the chords are in the normal position and not have to play the chords uh that you may not know to be able to play in the key that the singer is singing in but the main thing here's the here's the kicker in a nutshell here's the secret the secret weapon the capo you can take it when you put it on these across all six strings let it spring loaded so let it clamp down what it does is it brings the strings closer to the fretboard. Thus, you don't have to put as much pressure when you go to play your chords. Here's the C, okay? And of course, when you put the capo here, okay, this fret is acting like the little white piece here. So your first fret is actually here. One, two, three. So I'm gonna play my C chord right here. First fret, second fret, third fret, second string, fourth string, fifth string. So you still play the chord right here. Okay, but it makes it so much easier with the capo. You won't believe it. You really won't believe how much easier it's going to make playing chords sound good. And it'll be much easier on your fingers. So by all means, get you a capo. The other thing it does for a beginner guitar player and for any guitar player, is as you move it down, let me just put it here on the sixth string, sixth fret, I'm sorry, the sixth fret. Now, as you move the capo down, you'll see the, the distance between the frets starts reducing, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller as it goes down. So what does that do? When you go to play C, you don't have that big reach. Remember how about the reach across all these three frets? They're, that are spread out pretty good. With, with a capo, as you move it down, the distance between the frets gets shorter. So all you have to do is play it the same way you played up here. First, second, and third fret. Because remember, this is the white piece, acting as the white piece here. So this would be your first fret. Play it here. There's the C, okay? And because the frets get closer together, not as far apart, you won't have to reach as far between your finger placements. Makes it tremendously much easier. So between these two things, it, the capo will bring your string height down, it will reduce your distance between your fingers and the frets, and you'll be amazed what it does. Uh, regardless of where you are, as far as, you know, in the beginning stages of learning how to play guitar, get you this capo. It, it is, take my word for it, I've been teaching for 40 years. And I've taught thousands and thousands of students. And when I show the capo in the beginning, 
it, they, it's like the, the light bulb comes off. They say, well, wow, this is so much easier. And by, by using the, the capo uh, with my magic four cards that I told you to search for here, you can learn the four cards and use the capo. And boy, you got something going big time. If I'd have had that shown to me when I first started, I, I would have been progressing at a rapid pace. And you will too if you get your capo. So be sure to get that capo. Uh, they've got a different kind. Again, this is a Kaiser Acoustic Capo. Okay, made by Kaiser. K-Y-S-E-R. All right. One, one other thing I want to point out. If you do not have a tuner, do, don't try to learn tune by ear. Uh, I do not recommend that for anyone just starting out. And I've known guitar players uh, who have played for many, many years, played professionally, that are not able to tune real well. And uh, if you get your guitar tuner, electronic tuner, uh, you get one for about mm, $15, $20. Uh, check it, put it on your guitar, like the little clip-on tuners that clip right here on the headstock and you read it you, you hit your string you're going to show the string you're on and it's going to be left or right left slow right's too high and you just adjust the string to get it in the center and, and you can do that for all six strings check your tuning with the electronic tuner keep your guitar in tune. it's it's a must you have you playing on a well-tuned guitar i see so many people they they come in and and take lessons and trying to play a terribly untuned guitar. And it's so discouraging, frustrating. Have to have a guitar in tune. Get your a little digital uh, guitar tuner. Absolutely a bust. And uh, that way you know your guitar is in tune. There's no guesswork trying to match your ear up with what you're hearing and make the uh, string sound correctly. Digital tuner. Uh, I think that's all I want to cover today. Um, again, I want to help everyone who wants to learn how to play guitar learn how. Have the platform to learn how. And I've had that here on my YouTube channel. Um, if you, like I say, if you really want to kickstart your lessons really quick, now I have 38 lessons uh, on my bestbeginnerguitarlessons.com site. I got a link, I'll put a link down in the bottom. Uh, in the description, you click on that link, go to my home page, and enter your email, click the red button, and you'll be brought to 38 of my best beginner guitar lessons, step by step. The same lessons I've used and continue to use here in my studio. And they'll teach you step by step uh, how to play the guitar, the cards, the uh, different types of cards, the majors, the minors, the sevenths, uh, and on and on. And everything you need is there. But it's it's a it, it's a little longer process because it's so so complete from beginning to end. But in order to kickstart your lesson, you really want to get started playing fast. And the best way to learn how to play is to learn these cards and start playing songs you know. And you'll be playing in a matter of days, weeks at the max, and start playing songs you know. And uh, you'll be like I say, you better play hundreds, thousands of songs in no time at all. Uh, but I'll put a link down there to my website where you get 38 lessons. Uh, but if you go here, like I said earlier, search four cards, magic four cards, you'll see the four cards, the G, E minor, C, and D. And I, I have a complete tutorial on how to make them, how to move from one to the other. And uh, so you, you, you have a complete platform here. I've got a lot of songs, easy songs for beginners here on my YouTube channel. So you can take uh, simple cards and play card and play songs. Uh, so be sure and, ch and check check around here. Check my magic four chords or four chords, and learn those four chords: G, E minor, C, and D. But I hope I helped you with the C today. This is an open C. This is a full open C that we're working on. Okay, full open C. Now, if you like this video and it's helped you. Uh, leave your comments down below. I always enjoy hearing from you. Uh, if you're having trouble with anything in reference to your lessons, li leave your comments. Leave your questions below. I always, I always uh, like hearing from you. I'm, I'm always happy to help with any problems you might have. Uh, and again, subscribe to my channel. And then 
All you have to do is hit the little red button below to subscribe. And there's going to be a little bell symbol. Click that bell symbol. And each time I load up a new guitar lesson or a new song, uh, it's going to notify you. That way you come and check it out. Uh, again, uh, I appreciate all the support from everyone. My channel is really growing. I'm being able to reach out here on my YouTube channel to thousands and thousands of people wanting to learn how to play. And that's what I want to do. I want to teach everyone who wants to learn uh, to play to be able to have a platform to learn how to play. And it's free. Of course, you know that. But it, anything here on my YouTube channel, it's all put together to help you learn how to play guitar and learn how quick. Uh, again, don't, if, you've got, if you've been struggling with going from one YouTube uh, video to another or, or one website to another, you're seeing different things taught by different people, totally confusing. Stick with me and you'll learn how to play guitar. I've taught thousands how to play and continue to do that today. And again, check the link for the 38 free lessons. Just click it. You'll, you'll be brought to all 38 lessons. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, and I appreciate all the support from everyone. Until next time, let's go play some guitar.